It's late, it's late, it's late, but not too late. Hey, I'm going to paint through my viewfinder. I'm not actually looking at the um, canvas right now. Except for when I have to look past the crosshair on the viewer. Got to make that almost migrate, almost merge. These are all fingerprints right in here. So I'll just cover them. I'm all, I kind of like that uh, handling texture. So I just redid my Saatchi page. We'll be adding a lot of stuff. I do have the new photos ready for the new portraits. This is going to be pretty much a wrap, I think, on this. I might do a little more with the eyes, but... Um, so, I've always heard that you should only do one genre of painting, and I kind of wholeheartedly disagree with that. I think that's meant if you're going to be, if you want to be in galleries and be um, shown by certain purveyors of the art world. But the reason I paint is because I have to. If I didn't paint, I mean, I'm already f fucking crazy now. But if I uh, didn't paint, I, I don't know, I'd probably be a junkie or something. This is an accidental white in here, but I'm kind of, kind of digging it. All right, blue thalo on the floor. That'll be good. That will only be there forever. I'll hit it right now with some mineral spirits. Painting comes first. The palette, I haven't done any French, uh, translation in a while so much stuff happening all the time so anyways my take on art is paint paint to your heart's delight I, and I think I'm that kind of painter I never know really what my next idea might be This is a sun thickened oil. Now let's see, I'm going to go with this blue black over here. This was a quick snapshot. Um, She was very kind in allowing me to take her picture, but it was one of those synchronicity things again. I uh, had met her on the trail, Antonella, and um, we had a good convo. She curses a lot, so I, I think she's honest as the day is long. And I kind of consider this to be uh, uh, just, I get a Frida Kahlo vibe off this painting. 
I wasn't intending that, but I think it kind of works that way. Except for the weird surrealistic elements I don't have included here. I just happen to have some cobalt blue here. Let's see what that does. Let's do some cobalt blue with a little bit of white. Maybe it, let's pick in some gray. So when I'm painting, I have a, you know, my mind just wanders. Wah, 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 wanders. My little runaway. I'm digging that blue. Trying to pick up some gray here. So I use this sun thickened oil because it kind of leaves like a slight gloss of a film. And I don't varnish my stuff. It can always be varnished in the future. It just needs to be, you know, probably oiled out first. It'll probably be a three month, but at this point too, if I was wanting to varnish this, I'd have to wait like three months or I would wait three months, I guess. So now I've got that green over there. So this was a snapshot from, um, I was on my way back to my place from Barton Springs. It's about 10.30 and I ran into her at the bus stop and uh, she recognized me. She probably recognized my hat. It's uh, the magic hat, uh, what it precedes me now. So we chatted and I asked if I could take a picture of her for a portrait. So it's just about done. And uh, really I'm just trying to paint late now because tomorrow's a big soiree night again. The big soiree. So, anyways, we did the site, and uh, Nemrov is my my representative. So I'm very free now. I don't I don't equate paintings with. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't think of them in any kind of money sense. Uh, that's off completely off my uh, my mind. All I know is I've got a big collection that's only going to get bigger and bigger and uh, more fantastic. It's going to be shroomtastic. It has been shroomtastic. Been micro dosing. And it's been simply wonderful, darlings. Just simply, simply wonderful, 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 wonderful. So the background has evolved on this little piece here.